it's worth mentioning that it isn't necessary to install your very own server. There are cloud instances available. Mongo itself has an offering called Atlas, which in reality runs in other cloud providers, namely AWS and Azure. These can be advantageous to use because, at least in theory, you shouldn't need to maintain patches or updates. And even more theoretically, you shouldn't have to worry about security since the canned cloud offerings are usually ensconced in some sort of identity access management or IAM system. I keep saying in theory because I've read about a recent trend where a lot of companies moved from on-prem to the cloud and now they're in the process of moving back. Some of the reasons cited are that the security in the cloud is still really the primary concern of the customer, not the cloud providers, and the cost savings, especially for smaller systems, are either negligible or non-existent. My personal favorite cloud provider is DigitalOcean. I like it because it's easy to use, given I have a strong knowledge of Linux, but mainly because the pricing model is very easy to understand. Microsoft, Amazon, Google, and IBM all have very complicated billing models, and it can be a little scary given some of the horror stories we've all heard about people running up huge bills because they forgot to take down some cloud resource when they weren't using it anymore. In the interest of disclosure, I'll point out that I don't have any direct affiliation with DigitalOcean other than being part of their referral program, which means if you use my link to sign up, I'll get credit. This benefit will be available to you when you sign up, and even if this program were not in place, I would still suggest them for the reasons I've already cited. If you'd like to try out Mongo without committing to installation on your computer, and you're willing to spend a few dollars, and it literally will be a few dollars, you can try the pre-made Mongo template on DigitalOcean to set up Mongo fairly painlessly. If you don't have a DigitalOcean account already and you want to try this, sign up for one using the link in the text. This is that referral link that I talked about earlier, and you'll receive a $100 60-day credit as soon as you add a valid payment method to your account. It will also give me a little bit of credit towards all of my hosting endeavors. Log into DigitalOcean, and the first thing we're going to want to do here is create a new droplet. Now I have a nice little button here that says, get started with a droplet. If you don't happen to see that, there's usually a green button up here at the top. So I'll click Create, and then I'll select Droplets. And this is where we create our droplets. A droplet is basically just a virtual machine. That's just their marketing term for it. I'm going to go for one that's already pre-configured, so I'm going to switch to Marketplace. And I'm going to look for MongoDB. And there it is. And I've found one, MongoDB 4.0.3, which is not the latest version. The latest version right now is 4.2.8, but that's okay. This is new enough that it should work just fine. And this is running on Ubuntu 18.04, which is one of my favorite operating systems. So I'm just going to leave that as is. Next, I'm going to change the billing plan for this. So it defaults at a nice, hefty 4 CPU, 8 gig machine. I don't need that since I'm just messing around. I'm going to come back over here to the $5 a month plan. And I'll scroll down. And I'm not doing anything else with this, so I don't need block storage. I honestly don't care what data center it's in. It's going to default to New York 1, which is just fine with me. If you are from somewhere else, you might want to pick one that's closer to you. But New York is as close as anything else is. So let me scroll down a little bit more. I'm not doing anything special with the network. I don't need IPv6. I don't need any of these extras. Normally, I would authenticate with an SSH key, but that's going to require a lot of extra work if you don't actually have an SSH key set up on your machine. So let's just go with password in the interest of keeping this simple. Now I need to choose a password. It's pretty persnickety about this. So I'm going to give it a password. And there's my password. I don't mind showing it to you because I know full well that this droplet will be gone by the time you see this. So it's happy. I'll scroll down. If you want to, you can give it a different host name. This just tells me what it is. So this is the default. It says MongoDB, so I know that's the template that I use to create it. 
one virtual CPU, one gig of RAM, New York City data center number one. You can add tags, projects. We don't need any of this stuff since we're just playing around. We'll just go down to the bottom, big green button, create droplet. We'll click create and it will take a few minutes to set this up. So I'll check back with you in just a few minutes. My installation of my virtual machine is complete. It's giving me an IP address here. So I need this and the password that I set a little bit earlier. So I'm just going to click copy here and it's been copied to the clipboard. Now I just need an SSH session to access it. So for that, let me go to my terminal. If you're on a PC, you want to use PowerShell for this step. If you're on a Mac, use Terminal. If you're on Linux, you can also use Terminal there as well. So I've copied the IP address. So I need to do SSH root at paste in the IP address. It's going to say, are you sure you want to connect to this? I'm going to say yes. And now it's going to prompt me for my password. Which I'll type in. And I am in. So at this point, I'm pretty much ready to go. If you found value in this video, if you learned something new, help me out with a like and subscribe. For more videos on software development and DevOps from a developer's perspective, check us out at maddevskills.com or on Twitter at devskills.